It is unpredictable and often disabling across the United States alone. It impacts nearly 1 million people. We're talking about multiple sclerosis. The diagnosis can be frightening and confusing, but MS research and medical advancements are making a major difference. Tonight, I'd like you to meet a Billings woman who's proving that several steps at a time. I got stuck under my needle, that's what it was. <laughs> Kaneki does a lot of smiling in this pool because the work done here has helped her literally get back on her feet. Echo, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2006, has watched her body slow and her independence dwindle. That is until last fall when she started a new advanced MS treatment, reduced stress by retiring from her full-time job and recently oh my goodness. took to the water. I started doing pool therapy in January, the end of January, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can walk in the water. So that was just like, yeah. So of course then I had to do it on the land too, you know, because that's just, yeah, I had to have that too. <laughs> so she did. And just seven weeks ago, she walked into church. Something happens in the immune system. We don't know exactly what drives it, whether or not it's a genetic underpinning or an in, uh, some sort of environmental trigger that makes the immune system uh, start attacking the spinal cord in the brain. Dr. Chris French, a neurologist at St. Vincent, says MS impacts every patient differently. But research and medications have come a long way to slow down the disease, minimize brain injury, and keep people walking. Well, I'll stand up. I can do that. 20 years ago, there were four medications available. Now there's 19. Uh, almost every year in the last 10 years, a new medication has been approved. Echo says she's not quite ready to take on the long aisles of a big box store, but she's thrilled to grab back some of her independence. If I want to just go to some place small or go to visit a friend or whatever, yeah, I can. I can get in and out and with my walker, and so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and Dr. French says the goal is to stop and reverse the effects of MS, and he feels that research is on the horizon possibly in the next few years. And here's where you can help. This Saturday is Walk MS. If you haven't already, you can register at St. John's Lutheran Home Pavilion Saturday morning between 9 and 10, and the walk kicks off there at 10 a.m. Donations are very welcome to help fight MS. I hear it's a pretty darn good time, too.